Let's talk Tanya for the 24th of Tammuz of a leap year. In yesterday's Tanya, we found out that today, after the destruction of the Holy Temple, there is a concept called Golos Hashchina. The Divine Presence is in exile within Klipa Snoiga, within this Klipa, the power of unholiness. And we have a choice where to receive our energy from. The energy which is the source of our neshama is a very exalted, very high and lofty internal energy which is sourced in the name of Havaya. We can receive it directly, but if we sin, we are making a choice. We are receiving our energy as it comes through the channel of, through the medium of Klipa. But the truth is, when we make that choice and we're receiving our energy through the Klipa, we're actually doing something worse. Yes, when the Holy Temple was destroyed. So there's this Golos HaShchina, the exile of the Shchina, and the Shchina has entered Klipa Snega. But when we sin, we are dragging that energy, that light, even further. We are dragging it down into what's known as the Gimel Klipais Hatmeis, the three utterly impure and repulsive Klipais. That is what we are doing. That is what we are causing. That is the damage that we are causing to God when we do a sin. We are taking the highest of energies and we're causing it to energize and give life to the most detestable and repulsive Klipa, that which God actually can't stand. Yaakov Hevel Nachalase. This is a verse that we cited yesterday. That our relationship with God is like that of a rope. The Alter Rebbe says, when you have a rope and it's, uh, the top is hooked up somewhere high, the bottom is hooked up somewhere lower, if you take the bottom of the rope and you give it a tug and you tug it downwards, you're schlepping the entire rope with you. When we, we are the bottom of the rope, we're connected to Hashem ultimately, whether we like it or not. When we tug the rope, we're tugging the entire rope, the entirety to the extent that actually we are bringing down the energy of Havaya into the lower, into the lower and the lowest klipa possible. When we do tshuva, we have to rectify this. Now, when we're tugging down the name of Havaya, most specifically and most acutely impacted is our direct source, which as we spoke a few days ago, is God's, is God's breath, which is the lower, the, the second hay of God's name, the second name, the second hay of the name of Havaya. Now, if you recall, when we started chapter four, we said that the Kabbalists explained that there are two different levels of the tshuva. There's a lower level of tshuva known as tshuva tata, and a higher level of tshuva known as tshuva ilah. Both of, these letter, both of these levels of tshuva, interestingly, are alluded to in the actual name or the word for, tsh, for repentance, which is teshuva. Because the word teshuva can be divided into tashuv hey. Tashuv hey literally means to restore the hey. And the Kabbalists tell us, somewhat cryptically, the lower level of tshuva is restoring the lower hey of God's name. And the higher level of tshuva is restoring the higher hay of God's name. Now, we understand a little what this means by now because we know that in the name of Havaya, where we're rooted, there are two hays. Let's talk a little about the lower level of tshuva because that's going to be the topic for the next two chapters or so before we transition to the higher level of tshuva. Restoring the lower hay. Because when we sin, we are dragging down the lower hay, which is God's speech. But the internal aspect of God's speech, we are dragging it together with us into the mud, into the klipa. What is tshuva? Tshuva is restoring the hay back to its place, taking it out of the klipa and restoring it to where it belongs. How do we do this? We now know what we now know the damage that a sin does. We also know what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to obviously pull ourselves out of klipa as well as also restore God's name, restore the hay. How do we go about doing this? That will be the topic of the next chapter of Tanya.